Last video was a reviewing Spawn Compendium 3, and now I'm gonna be reviewing the Moon Knight Omnibus. I just wanna say, I, I, I've gotten used to the way of this book, so you won't really hear grunting from me, unlike last time. Moon Knight Omnibus! Yeah, that wasn't fun. We've got, uh, we've got plenty of time to review this. Let me just say ahead, these guys did an amazing job on this book. I I longed for what I longed for continuing Moon Knight. Now, like I like ever since I read the Moon Knight Lumiere and Small Collection, I've just been like in love with Moon Knight, and I can't wait to see more, and especially of Jed McKay stuff. Because his next volume is coming out seven days after my birthday and the next epic collection book is coming out right on my birthday believe it or not and i actually just can't wait to see what they're gonna bring continuing on moon Knight. because the next book is called is called butcher's moon or the fist of concho i think that would be like the fifth book or something but yeah i'm really enjoying the moon, the moon Knight series so far especially this like i really like i just started reading it again like i like i read it, i read it immediately again and I'm almost done with it again. That's a lie. No, I'm not done with it again. But like, I'm taking my time. But I just remember it's like, this was so good. I wanted to read it again. And I can't wait to, because I know what happens. It's a really great story. It goes through a lot of great villains, bring back, brings back some classics, talks about some classics, goes back to some old enemies. I love it. And they bring back some, and they bring some really great villains into this. They bring the Thunderbolts into this. S.H.I.E.L.D. gets involved. I love it because it's all dealing with sort of like the psychological and supernatural spectrum of Moon Knight and sort of like Mark's relationship as he's getting older and his relationship to his friends and how, um, the impact they have on him and how, what he has on them and what he as Moon Knight has to the rest of the world and what his thirst for vengeance and Conchu's thirst for vengeance has driven the world to believe of Moon Knight. It was really amazing. The art style was really amazing. I read the first five books, which collect like issues one through 30, Moon Knight Annual number one and Moon Knight Silent Night. Those were really great. And I haven't read any of the books after that and until now. And then when I read them, I was just so in depth into it and seeing like, cause I haven't read any of the Shadowland books and Shadowland Moon Knight isn't here. And I want to collect like the Shadowland Omnibus um, so I can read them all and but i'll still have shadowland moon knight one through three in here but um i want to read like all the shadowland books for that because i really want to see what they do because daredevil probably being possessed and running the hand now it seems like a really interesting concept and i really want to read about it and seeing like Kanchu talk about like a crescent like a silk like a crescent moon made from the purest egyptian glass and being able to purge any evil soul out of the body and they're gonna try and do that with daredevil and i just can't wait for that because i uh, like oh, they all came out obviously but like i really want to read the entire thing so i know what's going on but i'm just excited to see what they bring and Revenge of the Moon Knight, issues 1 through 10, it shows Mark going back into the swing of things and his relationship with the Arrow Avengers, especially Spidey. They bring Deadpool into this, which I thought was pretty cool, and showing, like, Moon Knight wanting to be a hero during Avengers of the Moon Knight, and, like, no killing, whatever, ever, no matter how bad, and then seeing, like, I gotta do this at some point. I have to kill. Hell no! Till what did he say? Oh, no. For the good of my family and for the good of other people i don't have friends i got family and they bring back randall specter from the dead so that he can so that he can become shadow knights and it's just very heartbreaking seeing mark fight his own brother and kill him as well it was interesting seeing um jeffrey wilde who becomes midnight again and then he dies it was very interesting um Speaking of which, I don't know if my friend that I, told, that I gave a shout out to and when I unboxed this had read the comics yet, but um, I'm hoping they have because it's a really great storyline. If they ever want to borrow this, then yeah, I'll give it to them. But uh, yeah, the art is amazing. They have like they have like a script in the back too for the first issue, which is Moon Knight number one from 2006, and I and it's just really amazing. Reading it is fantastic and. 
like seeing all the work that's done in this. It's like a movie script, but it's like you, you hear everything and you and you image it as they're talking. Excuse me, as they're talking about it. And not only that, they and not only that, David Finch David Finch's artwork for like the first 29 issues is just phenomenal, and I love it. And I and I have David Finch's Batman Volume One called I Am Gotham, and it was really amazing. I I am still stunned by his art, even when I look online. Like I try to like copy my I, I don't copy my art style, but I'm sort of like basing my art style off many other artists. And one that is sort of like stupefying me is David Finch's, because it looks so real, and I'm just and I'm just fascinated by it, and I love it, and and I. And it's just fascinating for me. It's pretty awesome. Anyway, so Tom Plex Review. This is an amazing book. I totally recommend it for anyone. Although I recommend reading um, some of the Moon Knight Epic collections to get a basis on what this all is prior. And then collect other Moon Knight books sort of study like Mark's personalities and all that. And then read this book. I recommend you start doing your research on like other Moon Knight material and then buy books on Moon Knight before going into this because you'll really build the relationship with the characters here. But even if you haven't, then you'll understand what's going on because they build it all off and they explain. But I find it really amazing. I love it. And they really build each character up. It's amazing. And I can't wait to see what Marvel is going to do with Moon Knight in the future, both live action series wise with Oscar Isaac and comic book wise, because I because he's such an amazing hero and I think he's sort of my spirit animal. Yeah. But anyways, thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this is my review of the Moon Knight Omnibus by Charlie Huston, Mike Benson and Greg Kerwitz. Those are the authors. And it it's a beautiful story. I totally recommend it. 10 out of 10. It's fascinating. But read any other Moon Knight book first before diving into this one. It's But either way, even if not, it's worth it. And I totally recommend it. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Leave a like. Comment down below what you'd like me to review next. Hit that subscribe button. And no, tap the notification bell so you never miss a video from me. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.